Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jack here, yet another four string cigar box guitar lesson. It's the Archies and Sugar Sugar by request. I remember the song from when I was a little tyke, as opposed to a big tyke, I suppose. All right, so four string cigar box guitar tuned to open G. That's an A string tuned down to G. With a little bit of tremolo on there. There's your D string tuned normal to D. Your G string tuned normal to G. Always tune your G string normal. And a B string tuned normal to B. G, D, G, and B. All right, this song's pretty easy. It's basically one finger, I believe, for each chord. So we're gonna start out barring all the way across on the seventh fret, which is gonna be a B chord. We're tuned to open G, so that's G, A, B, C, D. So it's got kind of a funky rhythm. And I took the liberty of adding some tremolo to my amp. So there. So I'm barring all the way across with my first finger and I'm choking that second strum, or I should say third strum. So it's down up and then choke. And you just hang on that chord and it goes to the open G chord. So D to G. And the strum pattern I've got here is a down up and then a choke. Some people call that a click. So it's... That's the strum pattern, but you're not gonna stay on that chord that long. It's gonna be like this. So notice that second strum is a click. choking with my fretting hand. And that's the rhythm of the whole song. It does jump around a little bit with the different chords but just keep that same strum pattern going. So let's go over the different parts of this song here. So the main part of the song, which would be the verse, 
is barring on the seventh fret. That's going to be G, A, B, C, D. I like to use my third finger all the way across because oftentimes we're going to be jumping down or up a fret or two. In this case, we're jumping down from three or from seven to five and third finger to first finger. So I'm using my third finger on this one. And notice how I'm clicking that right there. So that's a totally muted chord. And that's the basic rhythm of the song. So that little keyboard riff right there, I'm barring already on that seventh fret to play that chord. Then I just go using my thumb on the third string, first finger on the second. So you play that chord first. That's first finger on three, four. takes you right down to your open G, right here. So just make sure you keep that same rhythm. So now for the next part of the song, you're just going to be jumping from 7 to 5. that open G in there. So we're going to start out on 7, which is going to be your E chord, then 2 down to D, and that's your open G right here. And you just go back to that E. simply going back to your open G and then your A chord on the second fret. It's pretty cool if you can get that chord in there and also play that keyboard part. here barring so I might as well just go ahead and keep that third finger there and do this part the entire song. It loops those two riffs together back to back several times and you're done with the whole thing. So have fun with that. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out my website jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars just like this one for 20 years. We'll see you next time.